Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the Excel 2010 course and this is week number seven and this will be part one of two parts for this week's um, lessons. I just want to uh, briefly remind you all the tutorials will be posted out on the website which is www.10minutetrain.com and these are the other links to get to the YouTube channel youtube.com forward slash 10 minute train and here's some other links that may come in handy for you also so thanks for joining and I'm going to jump right in here. Today's topic is going to be conditional formatting and then part two of the uh, of this week's lessons will be on how to remove duplicate records. So what you can do with conditional formatting is format the spreadsheet um, based on certain conditions being met. So what I've done here, I've taken the spreadsheet that we used actually in a previous uh, week and I've got my total sales column over here for all my salespeople and uh, so what I can do is highlight that whole row of the total sales so after those are highlighted I can go over to the conditional formatting menu here and I can do lots of different things here I can go to highlight cells based on different characteristics such as greater than a certain number or less than a certain number or between numbers or maybe text um, maybe text uh, within the cell or a, a date range or something like that or duplicate values. Then I can do top and bottom rules. For example, I can do the top 10% and then I can choose different colors to fill it in. I'll just leave the default there. And you see what happens. You see it highlighted one of them already, this one here. Since there's only about, uh, about 10 records, you're only going to get one. So what I'm going to do is I can change this and I can do the top 20%. Now I can say OK. And there you've got your top 20% uh, performers on the sales team. The other thing that you can do is you can go in over here and let's highlight um, all the quarterly sales statistics. Now I can go under conditional formatting and I can make a chart that would give me uh, that might be good for a presentation or something like that. So I can go over here and go to icon sets and I can choose different ones. So I'm going to do this one right here and you see what happens right you get the green arrow going up for high numbers the um, yellow one pointing to the right for average numbers and the down arrow for lower numbers so that's a good quick and easy graphic that you can use if you're trying to display something and and make it you know have a visual um, uh, a visual icon associated with it so with that said um, you can do a couple things here. One thing I can do is I can leave that highlight and go into conditional formatting. Let's say that you know I want um, I want to change the ranges that these are keyed on. So now I can go to manage rules. I can go to my icon set, highlight it, and I can say edit rule. And now down here I can go ahead and change any of these rule types. But what I'm going to do here, my format styles, my icon set, so I can say okay. So we're going to give a green arrow when the value is greater than or equal to 67% of, of the numbers there. So let's say that I want to make that a little more stringent. I can change this to 75%. And then I could go here and I could go to make it average this arrow here when it's, when it's less than, let me hit tab. Now it's going to change to when it's less than 75% and greater than 33%. So now let me change this to say 40%. And now you'll see what will happen here. It'll change from the down arrow to when it's below 40%. And then of course I can change any of these. I can click the little pull downs and change the um, change the icons. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and apply. And they'll, you, you'll see some of them change there. So one thing I can do is sort this information um, sort the spreadsheet by the conditional formatting so I can highlight the whole spreadsheet here by clicking right here between the A and the 1 I can go to sort and filter I can go to custom sort and now on sort by I can change it to total sales and then instead of going from values and do smallest to largest I can go over here and change this to cell color or I could do the cell icon for these other ones 
Uh, but I'm going to do cell color, and I'm going to say, uh, let's do, let's choose this um, pinkish or reddish color here, and say on top, and there you see what happens. It puts them up here on top. The other thing I can do is I can sort by those icons. So I could go here, and I could go to, I could add a level. And I could say uh, for quarter four, I want to sort by cell icon, and I want to put the the uh, top ones on top. And of course, it's sorting from numerous categories here. So um, anyway, so it does change that formatting. And then the other quick thing that I want to share with you is I'm going to go ahead and highlight these numbers again. And you can do lots of different things. Instead of those cell icons, you can go over here and do conditional formatting. You can do um, data bars, right, which does, um, which changes the, um, you'll see what happens here. So it changes the, uh, you know, it puts bars across depending on the, the size of the number. And that just changes the colors. And then, of course, you can do solid fill. And of course, there's lots of different icon sets like ratings, or you can do these bars over here where you do the, um, where you see the, you change it to uh, almost like a signal um, indicator here. Anyways, that's what I want to share with you in this part of the uh, week seven materials, and then I'll be back with a lesson on how to remove duplicate records. Thanks for joining. Take care.